situation. Exactly. All right, so for the last question, I want to close out. Uh, do private threesomes lead to public sexual assault cases? And uh, the reason why I know, I'm familiar with the T.I. and the Tiny situation, but um, Daniel was talking, how do you pronounce it? Is it Deshaun Watson? Deshaun Watson, yeah. Okay, so can you go more into that? Like explain what's the, the allegedly the circumstances and situations around that? So and what you want to talk about specifically? Right. It, it's not necessarily um, three civil things with Deshaun Washington. Deshaun Washington has had over 22 um, accusations, sexual assault accusations come out in a week. No, nah, it just it just went up to 22 as of Friday, I believe. I don't, now, granted, this is out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have a history or anything. And the thing that, the reason why I wanted to talk about it was because it, it really upsets me for this man has always been a man of standard. Like, the sound washer has always been a man of standard. This man has done things for people out of his own money. He didn't raise no money. And I know that doesn't mean anything, but like, Feel you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I mean, that's what I, that, that's what I thought about just now as I was saying that. But, um, but like, this man has always been a man of standard. You know what I'm saying? And the simple fact of the matter is, None of this came out. I just find it funny that 22 cases came out after he's ready to leave the Texas. He asked for a trade. They didn't want to give him a trade. He asked them to release him. They did not want to release him. They refused the trade, and they refused to release him. So I guess he was, like, maybe threatening to sit out or something like that. If he does, And then now, all of a sudden, all these cases came out. The other funny thing is the lawyer that's representing a lot of these women is next door neighbors. Yeah, I read I'm that. talking about one house over from the owner of the Texas. You don't find that kind of fishy? Well, not because I'm not familiar with him because I don't have a man, so I don't know nothing about sports, and I'm not a sports woman, you know. Uh, so when I read, when I started doing my research, when you want to uh, talk about it, I was like, oh, now this is, and I read comments, I'm a comic girl, you know, and I was mm -hmm. like, Look, I, I'm not even Annalise Kim or, or uh, Olivia Pope, and I'm like, this is suspicious. Like, this is just too much. <laughs> I was like, this is too much. I was like, uh, uh, no, this does not add up. But uh, it's I think it's uh, modern day lynching. Like, you know, like they're trying to what hang his ass. They're like, trying, they're trying to. They're trying to it's like a defamation of character. That's oh, for sure. Is. Oh, they done did that because. Once you put that accusation out there, it doesn't matter if you're guilty or not. Like Charlemagne says that all the time. Like the yeah. the lie is more entertaining than the truth, you know. All the um, time. And the thing is, the, these other teams they they look at your following. They look at. They don't care how good you are as a player. There's another player named uh, Antonio Brown, arguably in his prime, one of the best wide receivers in the league. Every team wanted him until one team said he's a bad teammate. Same thing happened to Terrell Owens. Same thing happened to a lot of players that were star players. And all like they these teams are like, well, I don't need that on my team. I don't need that type of attention on my right. on my team. So it's like now everybody wants he's the he's one of the star black quarterbacks in the league. If you don't know what position he plays. He's a he's the field general and he had he's good. He's one of the best young quarterbacks in the league. So now you're not just messing with this man's character, you're messing with his pockets. Because you want him to stay on your team, so let's let let's let's put this bad publicity out there for him. Because these these teams are going to be like, we like you, but we can't have that negativity around the locker room. So we're not gonna we're not gonna trade for you. Almost all his offers fell through. What you about to say? All his trade I was gonna say though, but like I get the whole. Let me just get this out here. I'm not a sports girl. Like you know, go Patriotics. I'm 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 not I'm not a sports person, but like you said, the de defamation of character and also like that, like of all the things, like like you really gonna pay twenty two girls to make these accusations just to do like just to tarnish his name, like you said, like old dudes, like what's it called? All they said was that he was a bad teammate or he had a bad whatever energy, whatever, and then you know everyone caught on to that and like you know that's what happened to all their careers. Why go this far? Because that sounds like uh, Deshaun Watson being a bad teammate 
sounds like more of a lie than this does. Just like she said, Charlemagne said. But you just said yourself that it only took one person to say that for a whole bunch of people to believe it. For them. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. There's, there would literally be teammates that would back this on Watson. Just like there's, there's teammates trying to back him now. But like literally, literally just the simple fact that it's an accusation against a woman. In today's time now, me too, movie. where accusations are really, really big, starting back a couple years ago with, with Bill Cosby. Every single accusation is huge. Every single accusation is huge. And you have to take so, it serious because and you know they how they have say, to take that And you know, they, they say that black sense. women are the most unprotected women. So whenever now, you know, they are. whenever somebody come out, you know, you gotta hold up, wait a minute, let's 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 pay attention to this, you know. Um, I think like does does a waiver matter? Like can a can a because I know celebrity male celebrities do this, like women, they just fuck whoever they want to, but male celebrities really have to get a waiver for a woman to sign things. So like, does that even matter? Like, can they still come out and say, oh well, I mean, yeah, I just want him to do it like this, but he did it like this. Like, does having it's a sexual waiver boy. matter? And based on all boy. She can't file a lawsuit against him if you sign a waiver to that saying that we are going to have sex. That's not even just for celebrity. That's for anybody. You know what I'm saying? If you're conscious enough to sign on the dotted line and say, we about to smash. You cannot go to court. At least I, I feel, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I'm not a lawyer. Right. But I don't think that you can go to court and be like, well, he touched me the wrong way on our date when you went home and signed a paper saying smash. Because that's what they're going to bring up. It says right here that you were consenting to the sex. Yeah, but I said I wanted this. I didn't never said I was going to give him off. And then that's another thing. It would say like the, the, the massage parlor, parlor thing. That I'm like, does he have a fetish for massage? Because people do have strange fetishes. You know, men like feet. Men like this. Men like, I was like, damn, he got a thing. And you know, the white guy just shot up the uh the massage parlor thing because he's like, that was his yeah, sexual... Like, you know. It was a hate crime. I don't care about no sexual nothing. That was a hate crime. Oh, well, we know. You know, you know how they're trying to, you know, either they're going to say it's, it's they psychological. Yeah, like, and so my thing is, like, I do think, like, uh, if this is a lie, because at the end of the day, allegedly, you have to use allegedly, and then also at the end of the day, you have to, they can't really settle, because if you settle, you automatically in the public eye, you look guilty, you know, because um, the, the, the barbershop talk, well, if he didn't do it, then why would he settle? Because sometimes you just be like, you know what? Fuck him. You know, I don't want to... And that's what I need to get it, period. And that's and how then, a lot of them feel. But also, at the same time, you also want to know, I don't care how much it costs, I want my name cleared. Um, right. You know, right. so it, it's just, it's, 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 it's a lot. But I, my th- my thought process of because like I said I'm not in the sports my, but I am a human being I'm a woman you know um I'm just thinking of like how can you avoid those things and I know that they do have sexual con- uh, contracts and then also um a, a big thing that always comes out that I see a lot of men and women say it as well because I do read comments they're like why they wait so long and then one of the main things of why people say why they wait so long is because they're afraid because that guy is bigger than them. They're just an ant. He's a giant. So who's going to, even when Kiki uh, Palmer went on the breakfast club, she was like, yeah, Trey Songz, da, da, da. like people were still like criticizing her for what she said. And then when, but when a Caucasian person said, it, you know, they'd be like, oh, how dare he? Exactly. exactly. You know? So, so we need to check ourselves when we read this stuff and automatically be like, oh she lying or he lying or you know like a lot of people are afraid to say things because they ain't they know they feel like they ain't shit but I also not victim blaming or anything I also feel like you shouldn't be going places like that's like being flued out like you know you're gonna be if a guy just come on now like you know um I mean I know I know what Courtney about to say too go ahead and say it I I don't want to hear what Courtney got to say I don't want to hear what Courtney got to say (laughs) I don't want to hear what Courtney got to say because if this man, like you don't know him from a can of paint, he just slid up in your inbox and told you you cute and you know liked a couple pictures and you know all this other stuff. Like, come on, like you know what he wants. Like, but that's when those adult conversations should happen. Okay, well I want um a pause. You don't think? Never mind. 
quick. Oh, I want to know your thoughts. Go ahead. Okay, so when I first like hearing the story, my first instinct is to believe the woman. I'm not even gonna lie about this. I don't know nothing about this person. I don't know nothing about sports. I don't know nothing about how it works. I didn't know anything about what you had just informed us about and all stuff like that. Um, but my first thing is to defend the woman. And I mean, if people normally when they go in your inbox and they say that you're attractive, that's usually what they use to start the conversation. So you don't think that maybe he might have been in the inbox and was like, you're cute or whatever, you're attractive or whatever. And maybe like it was supposed to be just a date. Maybe it was supposed to just be, you know, what it was. And then you can't condemn her for. Well, it, it, here's my question for that. Here's my question for that. And so just talking about Ashley, what Ashley said, being from let's, let's use common sense here. <laughs> okay. People and don't want to use that. People don't want to use that. People want to use fantasies. Right. I don't care if he's rich. I don't care if he's a billionaire and trillionaire. Ain't no man going to spend thousands of dollars on a plane ticket, hundreds of dollars on a plane ticket, for you to fly all the way out there to spend money on you without, just like the first question, wanting something in return. Well, what? that's what I'm saying. Because we don't know these conversations. And like you said, he's a stand-up guy. It, there's nothing about like this is out of the blue this is something you know out of the ordinary for all you know like I'm not saying that it's not possible that he might be being set up or you know this whole thing is just like you know some type of scam to you know destroy his character but I'm saying for all you know he was like I'm gonna you know maybe they were you know just talking and he was like I'm gonna do this down the third and I'm expecting nothing from you this is just what I'm doing for all you know he was selling a dream we don't know this man Courtney, you just said something that kind of made me be like, hmm. because you did say he he does have this reputation of being a stand-up guy. So if a woman is into sports, which some women do do their research on that, you know, like especially like All-Star Weekend, like they they going for a baller baby, you know. So she probably be like, oh, well, he's not a threat. He's a nice guy, you know. So of course, yeah, I'll come out, you know, but I don't know. I just don't put myself in situations. I, I just personally don't. This is my question for somebody to be somebody to be sexually assaulted, right? And if you're being flown out and then you get home, you know what I'm saying? Does that still, well, I can't really say that. I, think, I retract that. I retract yeah, that. hold on. What do you mean by that? that. What do you mean? Because I was thinking, like, in my first initial thought was, I'm, you know, somebody, they're flying you out and then they say they do force themselves on you. Okay. And you don't feel, you feel like at that moment in time you're being sexually assaulted. To go home, and I don't know, man, I just feel like, I feel like if that happened, even if you didn't say anything, I feel like somebody's going to know. Not somebody's going to know something that's different. Not necessarily. That's why, I, that's why I'm attracted because yeah, I had to think about it. That's why I'm attracted very differently. Some people feel embarrassed because like you said, like, oh, you no, definitely talking, embarrassed. you're talking about realistically, like, you should know that that's what's expected. So if she went in thinking that that's not what's going to happen and then she did get sexually assaulted, I'm going to be scared. That's why I thought, that's why I did that. that's that's like, why would you be so fucking stupid? You know what I mean? Like, right. Like, right. like you can't you can't just assume that people process things completely different because there's some people who get sexually assaulted and they'll immediately let the world know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've yeah. met people that. That's why. Me. That's why I rejected that. That's why I wasn't gonna yeah. say it in the first place. Yeah, I I, <laughs> transparency. I've asked. I was like, did I like you? That's times where Courtney, you know, prior to bring other people on the show, I was like, did I get sexually assaulted? Like, like, because I'm still processing. I'm like, because if you say no and stop but they still go like is that still but i'm like nah that couldn't have not to me not you know but the definition of yeah ashley you you got fucked over you know and i'd be like yeah yeah a lot of the times the situation the situation is sometimes you get sexually assaulted and you don't realize it until after the fact exactly so i i can say that like so when you was talking about the like it happened you go all the way home versus like it's not like you're just gonna run out the room like oh my god he because also at the same time they're a giant you're an ant and you're gonna have team, you're gonna have management and and the people on his team like listen listen let's calm down calm, like go wash like go go do this calm down you know and then try to offer you some payola you know some money and stuff you know but i don't know 
that's what that's what made me think about it. That's why I wanted to retract that statement because I I didn't think about what you guys were saying. Yeah, but I, I don't get that. Yeah. I totally so I think I with any with, with any situation, you're gonna have to wait for it to play out. Now the thing is, let's say he didn't want it dragged out or go to court. So are we going to automatically say, oh, he did it if he does the settlement? Like, how does that work? I don't know. Like, the world is going to view it how the world views it regardless. Whether he does it, whether he goes the, the, the mile and fights this and they find fault in all 22 accusations to where he is innocent. This is, this is so touchy and another reason why you know, big names go for this type of stuff for the simple fact of what Courtney, what Courtney said earlier. When when you murder somebody, you're innocent until proven guilty. If you're if you're accused of rape, you are guilty until proven innocent. Period. The the system is for you know the woman to get justice. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? There's people that can lie about sexual assault and or and we can see a cop shoot a man dead in the street on video and they're still walking free. That's just the way the system is. While there's, oh, he touched me the wrong way, he's most likely going to have to go to trial. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just what it is. And I, I hate that. But I think we all hate that. that. Both, both scenarios, we hate that, you know? Yeah, I'm also, that's what I'm saying. Though. Just the whole criminal justice system, period. You know what I'm saying? It, when it comes to rape, and my definition is designed for the raper to lose, regardless if somebody is a false accusing them. And that's just how I feel. And yeah, I feel like it should, I feel like two, there was a girl that was raped. Um, I, I don't even remember. Did he kill her or something? There was someone girl who was raped like on campus behind a dumpster, and that guy is like walking around free today. That, uh, it was. I don't know if it was there. It was a it was a big thing. Like this was like it wasn't just like a local news thing. It was a national thing. Like she was she I was, something about it was the I white man. Remember. He I can't remember if the girl was white or if she was black. I think she was white, but he was he raped her behind a dumpster. I think he also beat her. He, either she died or she was almost beat to death. But he's free. Shit. Uh a real life example not happened to me, but somebody that I know. A child molester, um, he had two options where he could get charged with burglary because he crawled through the window into the child's room, or he could mm. be charged with CSC criminal sexual conduct with the child. Well, at the time, he got it, those two options, burglary or criminal sexual conduct with a, a minor. He got more time for burglary than messing with a child. So my family member was like, well, let's just because of nothing, looking at numbers, not looking further down the road, she was just looking at numbers. So she was like, okay, so he could get 10 years for burglary versus three years for fucking with my child. So of course she went with the burglary, which no. Should have went with the criminal sexual conduct because he's still getting out within the three years. He's still getting out in three years, uh, which, which will be uh, July of this year right here. He gets out. And so... But with the, the criminal sexual conduct, even though he would have only got like three years or whatever, well, he, the reason why he getting out in three years with the burglary is because of good behavior. The motherfucker was like great on paper while he's doing his time, you know, not, there, there's more behind school. But anyway, so I'm very upset with my family member because I'm like, why would you do the burglary versus the criminal sexual conduct? Because she was just looking at the 10 years versus the three years with the kid, even though he's still getting out in three years, which is this year right here. But at least with the criminal sexual conduct, he could have registered as a child, a, a registered sex offender for the rest of his life. And right. therefore he couldn't, legally, he can't be near children, legally. So now this motherfucker is getting, no, one or the other. Okay. All right. That's weird. Me too. So, uh, so he gets what? What's this? What? March, April, May, June, July. So within four months, he'll be out. He'll be back in Marion County. You know, uh, fucking with little kids again. You know, um, and he's able to walk around for nothing. Like because even when when I publicly said something about it, you know, his family was like, "No, he's not." And of course, they're believing that because 
he it's not on paper that he didn't go to court for that you know even though i have screenshots the big picture you know like he's but until another person a, another parent or guardian is saying no i want him to go to prison for this shit right here you know yeah. that's how my my ex-girlfriend her her little brother accused her stepfather of sexual assault and that man went straight to jail that's the reason why that's one of the reasons why i said that i'm talking about they didn't ask no questions he said he touched me he made me take my pants down they went he got him. he was in jail until that boy came out and said he lied and was put on every sex offender list until his name, his name is still getting clear. Hey, listen, I almost got into okay. situations, like, because a child lied on me. Like, mm-hmm. this shit is real. Like, honestly, I want to be, like, an advocate for that. When I get my money right and stuff, like, I'm like, nah, it's certain people that these kids are sociopaths. Like, they be lying like crazy because they I don't think, like you or they don't like certain things, you know? I think it's, I think it's different when a child, when a child, um, when a child makes those accusations because... I don't know why, but like older people, like over the age of 45, like that gen- baby boomers, they tend to think that younger people don't have a, 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 a conscious a, mind to be able to a yeah. understanding of like how that could really mess up someone's life. They think that yeah. like they have to take that seriously because they don't think that they're not thinking like, oh, the child's probably lying. That's not coming across their head because they don't think that they, they don't think kids have a full understanding of how that works. Right. Like I, I, I think it's different when when it's a child saying that. Well, thank God for paper trails. Thank God the little bitch was bad as fuck. And then I had her in like therapy and all this other stuff. So when you know they came knocking on my door, I was like, "Oh, let me get my folder." You know, like she has a history of lying. She's low key a sociopath, but they can't really diagnose her yet because you know she's not at the age you know that she was. Because I think they had like seven seven bulletin points. And by age 13, she was already, she had already hit six of those seven bulletin points, but you had to be 15 in order to start the process of her, uh, which I feel like that's bullshit as well, to start the process of diagnosing her as a sociopath. But the bitch is a sociopath. I think it's bullshit too, because uh, it's, what's it's it called? total bullshit. Scientifically speaking, they say that you are who you are by the time you're eight years old. Of course, like, you know, you grow to, you know, no, you know, responsibility and, you know, like how to maintain, your, you know, also like that. But like the kids that, you know, how they be like, if you was messing with animals when you were younger, you're probably going to be a serial killer or some type of shit. Like you are who you are by the time you're eight years old. So that's stupid. Listen, I took her journal. I snuck and stole her journal and took it to the therapist. I was like, she got characters in here that got my name in it. And they talking about burning up in the house fire. I don't feel comfortable. Like, I had to put a lock on my door. I was like, I was scared for my life. Like, and so uh, I will say this right here. I settled. I settled. Like, I settled out of court. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, not monetary wise, but I was just like, my attorney was like, okay, the findings, they couldn't, like, the findings was false. Like, Clearly, she lied, Ashley. So in order for her to lie, she lied, you know, she's going to have to come back in your care. I said, oh, uh uh-uh, no. Whatever y'all want to do, like, no, uh uh-uh, that's not going to happen. No. But, so I kind of, I get what you're saying as far as, like, uh, you have, like, the balance of both. Like, you have some people that's just uh, out to get him, per se, you know. Um, because of what he did but also at the same time you would look like people I guess like me and Courtney we're looking at like why would they go to the extreme length of of doing that but Caucasian have been doing shit like that for years look they lied to get us over here like I mean it's just yeah, let me make it clear what I'm saying really quick oh I was just saying let me make it clear I'm not saying that it shouldn't be investigated right okay. that you know what I'm saying in the in that event you know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't matter who we think is, is is the golden child. Everybody has some secrets. Like, I'm not saying that we, they shouldn't be investigated. I feel like it should be investigated. But there's got to be some hard evidence. Because it's just, the timing is just ironic. If he was at the peak of his career, if he was, you know what I'm saying, you know, they was giving him what he wanted and said, yeah, we'll trade you. We'll do whatever we want to do. And then we're like, okay, well, you know, this was going on. I feel like I would look at it a little different 
than this team going through those great lengths because it's been done before. I would speaking on what you said, I would look at it the opposite way. Like they've been new, because I'm pretty sure women been uh there have been some brave sexual assaulted women that said, Hey, he's done this to me. And they probably swept it under the rug because of who he is. But and then they probably when he said requested that trade or whatever, whatever he wanted to do, um, they probably dangled that over his head, like, do you know what we have on you? You know, and he's just probably like, fuck it, whatever. But, but that's the but that's the other reason why I think of it. Way because it's simply trying to, you know what I'm saying? What are, yeah. are you going after them? Oh, okay, we get ready to go. Um, yeah. So I just I just think of it as, you know, I feel like if they dangle, if they dangle that over my head and I still, and I know I didn't do nothing, I'll be like, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show me proof. Either way. Show me the proof. If he is like what you say he is, where he's like the stand up guy and there's like no reason, like, you know what I mean? Like no one, like you said, you said that no one's like thinking that no one would ever think that this would be him. Like this would be what he would do. I feel like um, hopefully they'll do like a thorough investigation. The only thing I wish is that if it is not true and these women have been like paid to do this shit, I wish that there was some way that we could charge these women because that's one yeah. thing that I hate. I hate false allegations like that um, because you're fucking it up for people who actually are getting really, assaulted and raped. Who out. are really sexual assault victims. And so, um, yeah, but I mean, it's all gonna, you know, it'll come to like one way or another. Right. So, all right. So, everybody got things to do. So, thank you for tuning into the show. And this is a great top. These are great topics. Uh, Daniel, good luck tonight. Uh, and we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.